to begin this look, I'm going in with Mehron Makeup's Paradise Paint in Teal, Light Green, and White, mixing all three shades together to create this very gray, undead look. I'm going to paint my face, neck, and chest with it, and of course cover my eyebrows with a washable glue stick just to make sure that it is easy to paint right over my eyebrows and I don't have to worry about them getting in the way. Then I'm going in with a makeup sponge, ripping it to shreds, making a very textured sponge that I can dip my paint in and create a te textured skin look. So I dipped it in my tan paint by Mehron and I'm just contouring all of the areas that I would generally contour but with a sponge instead. Then going with Makeup Geek's Coca-Cola eyeshadow, I am buffing it into the outer corner and inner corner of my eyelid to create a very sunken appearance. Then using the same shade and the same brush, I am contouring my nose just a little bit more and adding it to the lips as well. I wanted to keep that cracked appearance because I think it gives it a more ghostly look. Then going in with that same brush and shade, I am contouring out my collarbones to give them a little bit more sunken in appearance. Huh, sunken, get it, ship, pirate. Anyways, moving forward, we're going to contour the nose just a little bit more, contouring the temples and the cheekbones using that same Coca-Cola eyeshadow, and this time just on a big fluffy brush. And of course, we cannot forget to contour out the chin. We gotta carve it, we gotta make it look sharp. Now using the mustard shade from the Mehron palette, I'm going in and creating a little starfish. One on the side of my face and then one on my neck. I'm just using a fine artist brush for this look, or for this part of the look, and just creating a five point star, making sure that all the points are rounded because starfish have little rounded edges. Then I'm going in with a lighter yellow shade and I'm going over top of that to create a little bit more dimension and highlight the starfish just a little bit more. Going in with Wolf's white face paint, mine looks super dirty, please ignore that. I'm starting to create the barnacles that are all throughout this look. Basically, you're just gonna paint a little circle. It looks like a Cheerio right on your face. Uh, the rest of the shading will come later, but this is the first step. So we're just painting little dots here. This is adding some texture and dimension again to the sea star. Sea stars have like little risen bumps along them. So this is what I was trying to mimic. Now going back in with that Makeup Geek eyeshadow, I am going to kind of shade all around the edges of each sea star just to make it look like it's sitting on top of the skin versus paint being painted on my skin. There was no rhyme or reason to this part, I just picked a side and shaded. Now I'm going in with a small pencil brush, that same eyeshadow we've been using, and I'm going to basically shade all around the circles or the barnacles and then inside that little empty part that we didn't fill in. Yep, so I'm just shading all around each circle and then inside the circle as well to create some depth. Again, you wanna make it look like the barnacles are sitting on top of the skin rather than being painted on. Now I'm going in with that same white face paint that we had used to create the barnacles and I'm just adding a little highlight to the very tip of each barnacle. If you look at a barnacle, it's not all completely sunken in. There is a little risen part in the middle and that's what I was trying to, trying to mimic here. Then going in with the dark green shade from the Mehron palette, I am using that on a very fine artist brush to create a little bit of seaweed look. I thought it just looked really dull and grimy, which is why I added it. 
Then going in with the same white face paint we had been using, and I'm just creating little lines to create the ridges that a barnacle has. So I did that on all of them, and then I just highlighted uh, the sea star. Just again, adding more dimension. Now using some black airbrush paint, I am going to be contouring out everything, temples, cheekbones, forehead, nose, eye sockets, everything you see that would normally be contoured, I am just using an airbrush and some black paint to do that. The paint that I use is water-based, it is not alcohol-based, so it is safe to use around the eyes, which is very important because you don't want alcohol near your eyes. I am also contouring my clavicle area just to make it pop just a little bit more and make it look a little bit more sunken in. Then I am using my white contact lenses, just popping those guys in to create a very ghostly look. Gotta add some fake lashes. These are the Makeup a Murderer lashes. I don't remember which ones they are, but their lashes are phenomenal. Highly recommend them. Then using a stipple sponge, I am just kind of dirtying up this look with some brown and green paint. Again, the more texture, the better. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. That'll really mean a lot to me. And thank you. See you in my next video.